Welcome to our new tutorial to write OPC UA data to a CSV file. To create a new connection from OPC Server and write the values to a CSV file, we just start with the plugins part in our OPC router configuration. Under local service shop floor, we find the OPC UA as target for the OPC UA server. So you can select the predefined OPC UA server or create a new one. I show you my configuration. I have created a client certificate with a plus button and um, selected an endpoint, log on as a specific user and with the highest security level available at the target OPC UA server. I can check the connection to make sure connection is established. It's OK. So if you want to save the changes, you can use the OK button. After that, we just can go to the connections tab and create our structure of folders, for example. So create a new folder called CSV and create a new connection under it, call it OPC UA to CSV. After clicking on enter, you have a new connection template on the middle part here and on the right side you can select your transfer objects. Especially if we have a source on OPC side, we have the OPC transfer objects OPC UADA as corresponding object and drag and drop it by left clicking and leaving the mouse anywhere in the template. Just double click to edit it. Select the pre-configured OPC UA server, Caps of X demo in my case. With the tech browser, you can browse all the available items under machine 1, PLC, process values. I have my current pressure and my current temperature that I want to save to CSV file. Click on OK and I have my tags available. To save it to CSV structure, we need the CSV transfer object. Either we look in the tree or we enter the search word and drag and drop the CSV transfer object. After double clicking, we can configure it with delimiters, with no header line in this case to append the values, white space trimming, use a dot as a decimal with a corresponding date format delimiter and enclosure. And as column name, I would use my temperature, my pressure, and the timestamp. I don't have to configure the data type, it will be automatically string in the target document. So I can connect the current temperature by left click on the item and leave over the target element temperature in the CSV column. And of course the current pressure will be connected to the pressure. And in this case we would use the timestamp out of a OPC router variable that is always predefined. So we have our variables transfer object inserted here in this connection. Double click and select the predefined system time UTC and move it to the right. You also could use double click to insert it. It's just how you like it. And we connect the system time UTC to the timestamp. Now we have the CSV structure and we want to save it to a file. Therefore, we have on a file object, the file write transfer object. Just move it inside our template and decide which file we want to write. You could use them dynamically and Create it on runtime. In this case, I want to use a static folder. You can select it here or just insert it manually. C, test, CSV demo, OK. And the file name shall be process values underscore machine1.csv. And we want to append the values to the file write it as Unicode text. Okay, and just connect the document element with the file content element of the file write transfer object. This is everything for the connection. Now we still need to say when to trigger, therefore we have the triggers part. And under OPC trigger, we just use the data change trigger. Just double click to edit. And we can say we want to select the cap server OPC server as before and a trigger item we want to 
select the current pressure every time the current pressure changes about 0.1 difference because it's a floating point. We don't use a trigger at each data change for this type normally. So we, you can say OK. And if you want to do the same with the temperature, so when the temperature or the pressure changes, then you want to trigger, then I can copy and paste and double click to just change the second one to the temperature. Click on OK and you have both. You don't have to connect it because it's just for the connection, just have it on the template. So we now want to set the connection productive. Just click on it. It goes to the setting connection tab and we see the object screen that we inserted and we can set it productive again. If you have started it first, you must restart the whole OPC router but it uh, asks you for that because you have inserted a new plugin. Under the states part, you can now follow the connection transferring the data. Every time the data changes, you get a new connection point here. See the green line on the timeline that the connection is OK and ready for connections. And on the left side, you can see how long the transfer takes. And below you see all the values at your connection. And you see there's just one record at each time because we have simple OPC UA objects. And if you go to the CSV demo folder, I just open it, we see the process values machine one CSV file that we have configured now. We double click on it and we see all the values that we have transferred now.